Congratulations. We're very excited that you're a part of the Silver Beaver class for 2021. I've got to start with something I am so excited when I heard about. You are a very sought after Eagle advisor. Can you share some of that with us? Um, I, I don't know, sought after would be the words, but... Um, you were described by others as such. As others. Um, it's, uh, well, for me, it's a very rewarding thing to, to be an Eagle mentor coach. Um, a lot of the scouts that I have mentored, uh, I've known for many years, and it's truly uh, remarkable, and I feel always honored when they ask me to, to be, um, you know, one of their Eagle coaches. I, I love working with youth. I love watching them, um, you know, gain skills, uh, you know, leadership especially, and um, just being part of their journey uh, is very rewarding to me personally, and ultimately at the end, seeing them when they, you know, earn the rank of Eagle is, is just very, uh, I'm always honored to be a part of that with them. When you are mentoring these scouts, are you also mentoring their parents through the process as well? Oh, yes. Um, I think sometimes it's more mentoring with the parents. Um, you know, as, as a parent, you always want to be involved and, and sometimes do things, you know, for your, your scout. Um, and as a mentor, a lot of times it is, it's educating them and reminding them that this is their project, this is... Um, you know, their ultimate goal that they want to get to. Um, we need to, as parents, take a step back, um, which is sometimes very hard to do. Very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful because I think that's one of the hardest things uh, being a parent of an Eagle Scout as well as being a mentor. I think you, you're, you're serving in such a fantastic way. I would like you to share, I was reading a little bit about your bio and I want you to share with me about the Little Red Schoolhouse project. Um, well, the Little Red Schoolhouse um, is actually, um, it's, it's in Litchfield, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. My uh, mother grew up out there and went to, it's a little country school, and they um, are trying to restore it, um, you know, get classrooms to come out to see what like a one-room schoolhouse was back in the day. And uh, my mother belongs on the board, and she, you know, kind of, you know, Lives got me, me, well, <laughs> you know, and then, you know, drug me in. Um, but um, again, it, it's, it's a very rewarding thing to, to know that you're doing something to help preserve, you know, education and, and just being able to share that kind of stuff with, you know, youth now that wouldn't have known. Um, again, all of my stuff that I usually am involved in is, is mostly youth related. Mm -hmm. And uh, so doing that is, is just pretty rewarding. And um, they're getting close to getting it fully restored. Um, every year it's something new that they have to fix or change or do. So, um, and then just being a part um, of something with my mother um, mm -hmm. is also, um, you know, just very fulfilling. Oh, I bet. Lori, one of the things that you and I have in common other than our khaki uniforms is the fact that I too used to be in the travel industry. And I see that uh, you work for travel leaders. And mm -hmm. can you share a little bit about what you do with that and how that may play a part in some of the scouting things that you do? Um, well, I've held many different jobs um, within travel leaders. Uh, over the years. Um, one of the things uh, that I, I did in there is, is sometimes it's the education piece. I currently work with the airline side of it. Um, so it's, it's getting contracts and stuff that we give out to our travel agents. Um, and part of that is sometimes educating them, you know, how to use the different products and services, um, how an agency can make money. Um, so I kind of look at sometimes you know, being an Eagle coach, you're still kind of in that kind of educating that, you know, they sometimes have questions um, or they're not sure how to fill something out. And you, you get to work with them, kind of educate them. Um, Especially with the industry changing like it is, travel agents need mentoring. Right, I mean, right. Yeah. And and I am fully, I, I have mentors at my work and I've always had. So I, I feel that, um, you know, everybody needs a mentor. Um, especially like youth today. Yeah. Um, I know that, you know, they're, you know, youth today, but they'll be leaders tomorrow. And even though traveling for work, I do and am always 
probably 99% available to them at any given time, no matter you know where in the world I might be, they can call or email me. And sometimes I might have to have them screenshot me what page they're working on so I can see <laughs> what it looks like to, to help them with it, but yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is fantastic. So for businesses as well as scouts, you're, you're the one to go to. And I understand that you are the one to go to for tasks that maybe not everybody likes to do. You know, it, it, I, I don't look at any task as uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, I look at it as being a challenge, um, something that at the end I can feel that, you know, I gave it my best. I did everything I could right. for it. So, so I don't think of anything as being hard. Well, and I understand with the changes that are going on with Northern Star Scouting and the way that the districts are being run and as well as you, um, you're playing a big role on even recreating the round table for District G. Um, well, we don't call it necessarily round table. I know, I but, know. Um, but we all love round table. Right, right. <laughs> um, yes, I, I volunteered to be part of um, the committee that uh, looked at a way of how do we bring something like this back to the district. Um, we've invited other people within other districts. We know that there's a need um, for, pe for people sometimes to, to where do they find information, especially if you're a new leader mm -hmm. into scouting. Yes. It can be t very overwhelming if, if you don't know where to go. And so our committee, we thought it would be great to kind of bring something back to uh, you know, help people to be, that we can be a resource for them. It, you know, obviously if there's something that we, we don't know or we can't, we at least can go find that information and get back to them. Right. Plus, I think for a lot of people, just social right now, it's it's a, a social aspect that, that people miss not getting together, even though they are on Zoom. Right. Um, it's still you get to see the faces and stuff, and exactly. I think that that's what everybody, and so I, I enjoy that I'm part of that committee. Well, and it's also, a, to me, a great uh, feeling to know that you're never alone. As we all were once new leaders, uh, you feel like it could be so daunting when you look forward into what can be and when you find out other people have been there and done that mm -hmm. you're that, there. that you're not failing yeah that, exactly um, you know that maybe someone else had had a little bit of a struggle that uh they can help you so you're not struggling yes mm -hmm. which all circles back to that mentoring right that mentoring yep. that you do so well mm -hmm. tell me about the lower saint croix valley yellow ribbon alliance, alliance. um it, it's the Yellow Ribbon Alliance is, is around in every community. Um, I am just part of the Lower St. Croix. That, that's the area that I live in. Um, they do a lot of work with um, veterans in the area. So if um, veterans need assistance, sometimes even like rides to appointments, things like that, they will assist with that. Uh, one of their big programs that they do every year is their Veterans Recognition Dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm Luckily, I'm a part of that, um, that they've asked me that, and, and that all came about um, because of scouts, that uh, they were looking for um, scouts that could come and help, you know, clean up, serve the meal. Um, sometimes there's, you know, veterans that, um, you know, can't get around as well, mm -hmm. that then they can help them to get like their food and stuff. Everything is, is free to the veterans. Um, every veteran that comes will get some sort of a prize that's drawn from them. Um, again, it's just another way of giving back, especially to the community that I live in, but yet also showing um, scouts that this is another way that they can give back to the community. You're kind of thinking outside of the box a little bit. I have not heard of this um, organization, so I, I was very excited, and I think to myself, what an outstanding opportunity for the scouts, because even though we are in a time where there seems to be more and more vets, um, a lot of youth do not have that one-on-one -on -one contact and what a what a great exposure that you're giving these kids mm -hmm. and it's fun for the I'm sure the vets because I'm sure a lot of them have stories that a lot of them were probably even yes. scouts at one yes point in their and, lives. and past years you know they would um, be able to sit with the scouts and could tell them and they could ask questions the scouts could yes. um, you know a lot of them it's history to them um, this year obviously with COVID um, we had to do a, a drive curbside um, right. so the scouts were outside and um, and then they kind of like ran in and the numbers of the meals and stuff and everything. Mm -hmm. So a little bit different, but um, I know they seem to enjoy it. And um, even though you had to keep your distance from the cars, you know, a lot of them were um, thanking the vests as they came in and, and things like that. So, it, it, you know, 
even though it could be, it was different, it was still very rewarding for them. What an outstanding mm -hmm. opportunity that you are bringing. Tell me about Movember Foundation. Um, the Movember Foundation um, is, is something different. Yeah. Um, uh, as far as like it's for more men's health and whatnot. Okay. Um, the other one that that I kind of coordinate around with it uh, is you know children when they get moved from foster homes transitioning. Yeah. Okay. That um, when I heard that a lot of them when they transition or they have to go from home to home, you know, and, and you pick up your belongings and you know, and, and most of them you know unfortunately don't have a lot to start with, mm -hmm. but they're given like a trash bag or you know, like a target bag to put their stuff in. and Not I, a lot of emotion there. Right. And I kind of just think, you know, that that's just, you know, it, it's got to be devastating to kids when you're living out of a trash bag. Right. And so these um, foundations and stuff, um, you can give luggage, donate luggage. Um, oh, my gosh. And so then they actually have, you know, a suitcase. Makes them, you know, feel a little bit more, you know, gives them some dignity. Right. Uh, in the travel business, um, I go through luggage all the time. It's also kind of an excuse to get new luggage. Um, so <laughs> I, Girlfriend, give me your number so because I've got some luggage I, for I you. I donate a lot of it. Um, the company events that I'm involved in and meetings and stuff, you always seem to get some sort of a bag to keep materials in and stuff. Right. Um, and so I've asked, you know, does it matter if it has a, a name of something on it? They're like, nope. So it's like I can go ahead and donate them as well. And so, uh, you know, every year I kind of go through and, and, and get rid of bags, clean out my closet of luggage. And like I said, it's a reason to get new luggage, too. What an outstanding program. So how, how wonderful. And what I find amazing is how everything that you do and you're involved in is, is making people feeling comfortable, um, making comfortable where they're at, and, and circling around. And just that whole mentoring piece is I see why I see why you're the sought after Eagle yeah. advisor. I absolutely well, <laughs> do. Oh my I try gosh. to be. Congratulations. We are so excited that you are a part of this class of Silver Beavers. Thank you so much. Thank you, and I'm very honored to be part of it. Oh, we're glad that you're here today. You have a terrific day. Thank you.